All right, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to change your Squarespace 7.1, uh, the form button right here. We're gonna change the color. Why might you might wanna do this? Your client might have something that looks a little different. So for instance, like this, um, and they might want it to match on your forms. So uh, I'm gonna show you how to do this since I couldn't find the answer and had to figure it out and thought that others might find this useful. So what I'd recommend doing uh, is over on the left, so when you go into editing your site, go ahead and go to website uh, and you'll see all your pages. Uh, you're gonna basically come to whatever page has your form. So you can basically watch it change if you need to. Uh, then what you're gonna do is you're gonna scroll down to website tools right here on the left. And then we're gonna go to custom CSS. And I have some other CSS in here, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this at the bottom of it, but you can put wherever you want. Um, one thing that I do like to do is add notes in here for anybody else who might come to the site, uh, who you might have helping you, or if you happen to forget what the code is for, this is telling you what you did as well. So what you can do is a little forward slash and um, the little star symbol, uh, and then type whatever you'd like to say. So for me, I'm gonna say changing color of buttons color of button on forms. Uh, and then you would do that little um, shift eight and then that forward slash again. And it's basically making a note for you. Uh, I am gonna have this uh, code in the uh, description. However, the code might not work for you and you'll understand why in a second. And I'm gonna show you how to actually get what you need. Uh, so I am personally on a Mac in Chrome. You can do this in another browser. The biggest thing is that you want the browser to have some type of developer tools. Uh, so what we're gonna do is you can click developer, developer tools or inspect elements. Um, we're gonna click inspect elements uh, and there are some shortcut, uh, shortcuts you can use on your keyboard to do this, but that's the rec way I recommend. So view, developer, and then inspect elements. That's gonna open this up on the side and that actually might open on the bottom. It just depends on your uh, screen and button. Then over here on the right, you'll see at the top of all this gibberish code, you'll see console elements and then these two little symbols. If you click on this little one that's like a square with an arrow, that means that I can come over to whatever I want on the screen and I can basically choose different sections. So if you come over your button and you click on it, now over on the right, it's bringing you to an amount of code. Uh, and what you can do is then kind of scroll over uh, and you can see that it's telling us where we're working on. What we're gonna do is then come down to this bottom part. So on this bottom, you want it to be under styles uh, and we're gonna come here and this is what we're looking for. Okay, so we're gonna scroll down until we see background. And then I can actually click on this little black and change it to a different color and watch it change the color of the button. That lets me know that I am in the correct place. So what I wanna do is click on all of this code gibberish above it, where it says like .sqs background. I wanna click and highlight all of that. I'm now gonna copy that. So you can either right click and copy. Uh, personally, I use my keyboard shortcut of Command C. Uh, again, I am on a Mac. And we are going to take that and we are going to go back over to the code area on the left. So underneath where I wrote my little note area, I am going to paste all of that stuff that I just got right there. So then what we're gonna do is we need to get curly brackets. So over on your keyboard, if you look at the letter P, so you see uh, like above the return or enter button, you'll see P and then these two curly brackets. I'm gonna do the one that is left facing and then it's going to auto fill in the second one for me. I'm now gonna press enter just to bring that to a different line. And this is where I'm gonna type what I'd like. Uh, so I'm gonna say background and then a colon and then whatever color I want. Uh, so for my coding, uh, I want that color to be green. So I'm gonna go ahead and take that color code that I have. Um, and for me, it is in the form of a pound with some letters. And then you're gonna do a semicolon. And then you can see here that it changed it to green. 
something that I wanted to do for this person since we also have this kind of yellow background. Um, so here I'm just gonna do a border instead. So let me go grab the yellow that I need. Perfect. Uh, so we're gonna say border and then colon. And then we are going to say that we want it to basically be a solid line that is a certain amount of thickness. So I'm going with two pixels and then I'm gonna give it the color code that I want and then that semicolon again. You can see now I've got a yellow background or a green background, a little yellow border. And if you wanted to change the font side color, um, do, do, do. you could do something like that where it's color black uh, and it would change that color. Personally, I don't want that. I want it to remain white, so I'm not gonna do that aspect. Um, and then just click save and refresh it and confirm that it worked. Um, and you should have a functioning form with that button. You should note that that is going to change uh, it for every single form on your page. Uh, so if I have a, another form, which I do on this page, uh, it is changing it there as well. So you need to keep that in mind when doing it this way. Uh, but that is a way that you can go ahead and do this on Squarespace 7.1. All right, hope that was helpful.